The scenes in this Dakar neighbourhood are just like those across the country. Supporters of the Senegalese opposition leader, Usman Sonko, are furious that he has been found guilty of corrupting the youth. We want justice to be fair. We want Usman Sonko to be freed. They accused him of rape and considering he was acquitted of that charge, we must free him. We're ready to follow our leader, Usman Sonko, up until he wins the election in 2024. Usman Sonko is the leader of the youth. The verdict delivered on Thursday saw Mr Sonko handed a two-year prison sentence, which, if upheld, will disqualify him from next year's presidential race. Mr Sonko's lawyers believe their client is victim of a political witch hunt. If we consider that Usman Sonko didn't rape Ajisar, it's because this whole affair has been made up. Those behind this affair must be held accountable. Meanwhile, the Senegalese government insists that justice has been done. No one could force this judge to declare there's been a rape when he's not convinced that there was one. At the same time, these insurrectionists can't try to scare the judge into acquitting Mr. Sonko altogether. At the end of the day, the judge ruled in line with his sincere convictions. All this is a reflection of the impartiality of the judge and the independence of the justice system. The clashes we're currently seeing in the capital, Dakar, as well as elsewhere in the country, places like Siganshaw, are likely to go on well into the night.